Welcome to Between Two Pastries, a not-so-typical nutrition podcast. Nicole and Annie are licensed and registered dietitians. Join them as they discuss hot nutrition topics, challenge popular beliefs, and have a blast doing it. Here are your hosts, Nicole and Annie. Welcome to Between Two Pastries. This is Nicole. Hey, everyone. It's Annie. Annie and I have three different, uh, I, I don't know, you want to call it client situations. I feel like just yeah. anybody can can relate to these types of scenarios that they may have found themselves in. And um, they're just definitely worth uh, talking about in general. So we are just going to get um, right to it. All right. So the first scenario is, um, again, I, I can I can see this a lot there's these expectations that if I track every single piece of food that goes into my body and I stay, you know, within what I feel like should calculatedly stay in, that I will have weight loss in like X days. So scenario with somebody is that they had tracked their food, I think for like three or four days, they hopped on the scale. Again, why are people hopping on the scale? And they had this huge expectation because in their mind, they're thinking they're doing good, right? Quote unquote, good when you document everything. And instead of having this expected weight loss, they saw that their weight had gone up. And then right away, it's it's like, you know, screw everything. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, well, I know exactly what you're saying. So, uh, I mean, ultimately when we talk about people tracking, they are going on a device or working maybe with a human who says, do X, Y, and Z. And if you do X, Y, and Z, in particular, let's, we again, we've beaten this with a dead horse, but if you think about different apps that people track with, if I checkbox this calorie amount, that says the weight loss calorie amount. Right. And if I checkbox this box, then it's the maintain amount. And so we start to think, oh, well, I ate what it told me to eat. Uh, or I sometimes most people are under because they, you know, yeah, that's usually what I see. And then you calculate all this, you know, exercise, you put all the whatever that the app tells you to do. And then they're still gaining weight because they don't understand physiology. And even when they decide to work with a life coach, a nutrition, uh, quote unquote, expert, sometimes even a dietitian, depending on philosophy. Mm -hmm. If a dietitian says, if you do X, Y, and Z, you will lose weight. Don't work with that person mm -hmm. because yeah. that might not be true. Well, and, and and I think that what what's what's realistic is that it's probably not going to be true because our bodies, we don't work in that particular way. Like it doesn't right. just equal. Like we are not an equation. Right. And I I feel like people don't understand it. It's like physiology is physiology. We cannot change it. We can't force the body to do something, especially for long term. We can't have these expectations around this stuff. Like we have to just ride it out. Right. And it's like the other pieces, why, what's the whole purpose of even tr like, why are you tracking anyway? I don't, you... and I know we differ on this a little bit, but I don't have anyone track outside of I'm meeting you for the first time what do you normally eat in a day what does yeah, it exactly. look like exactly. and that's it because I don't freaking care I don't either the 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 tracking stuff is not helpful to me at all no. and nor do, am I going to take the time to look through it no it's typically manipulated it doesn't give the whole picture mm -hmm. um it's not like meds are in there there's there's no telling where the portions of foods and where these calories are arbitrary we've we have somewhat calculated in a lab what how much food you know how many calories are in different food items but really at the end of the day we don't really know <laughs> no it's true right? like this is all just kind of fun and games and guesstimates so well it's, you know, unless yeah, you no, I was just going to say, like, unless you're using it because it's something you've never done, like, I'm just pulling something. Yeah, up. Like, you've, you've used it sometimes. There's something 
it's something no one's ever done before. Or they're like, you know, I really don't know if I'm consuming enough protein and they want something tangible to look at, you know, and I feel like if they're using that as a learning tool, right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I didn't realize this had as much protein in it. That's great because it's something I like so much. And now I know, you know what I'm saying? Like totally. if we're, if, if someone's learning something from all of that, you know, that's great. But when, well, and they can stop it. But, well, of course it's more like, you know, do it for two days and just sort of get an idea of some things and then right. put it aside so you can just apply it to real life, whatever it is that, you know, you, you would need to be applying. But, right. it, but this whole concept of I use a tool, I have this huge expectation that something magical is going to happen simply because I'm using a tool. Right. Like that is just interesting. To well, me. but that's the same concept of like, think about like, well, I suppose people do it nowadays, but like 10, 20, 30 at this point years ago, where you've got things like hydroxy cut and all the pills. And oh, like, gosh, my gosh, if you I take this pill, right, you'll lose uh, weight. Yeah. And where there's no change to anything, it's just this expectation that if I do X, this will happen. Yeah. Whether it be I take this pill, or, but also think about let's let's not relate this to food. Mm -hmm. Let's think about it in terms of medical care. If I take this medication for X, Y will be solved. Right. No, not necessarily. I mean, let's look at it from, you know, you look at it from the mental health side of things and right. there's a lot of work you got to do besides just taking a medication. You have to actually deal with your problems. Right. Let's look at it from, you know, the GI standpoint, you can take a medication, but unless you eat the particular diet that you're supposed to, you know, same with your heart, same with mm -hmm. cancer, same with mm -hmm. all of this kind of stuff. There's so much more that goes into it than just if you do X x then this will change absolutely. and as an absolute absolutely there are no absolutes and sometimes you might go through all the work mm -hmm. and it's still not going to give you the result you're looking for but right this is why the goal shouldn't be that because that isn't the goal. right 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 and i this, I, is, this is why the goal shouldn't be you know whatever absolute correct. all or nothing it should just be I want to be in a better position than I was in a week ago, 10 days ago, three months ago, Correct. whatever. Yeah. I want to see improvements in X, Y, or Z, or maybe just not even improvements. Right. Maybe I'm, I just want to maintain status quo, mm -hmm. which is probably what we should all be striving for is just simply status quo. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you strive for the best of the best, what happens when you're the best? What happens when your labs all look good? Then what? Well, right, right. When people put that much emphasis on those types of things, you know, things are never enough then, you know, Right, naturally. exactly. Right. Which is so, how I feel with tracking it becomes. Well, and that's that's kind of the whole point of 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 what I want to say though is like it's just an it's another it's another way in which people can sabotage themselves, give all their power away to something outside of themselves like or again, trusting trusting an algorithm that has nothing to do with them personally as a human right. being with their right. own physiology like it that's the whole thing but you know it's it's still helping people understand that you know fat loss let's be honest it's not really about weight but like mm -hmm. fat loss doesn't just happen like we lose muscle in a millisecond but losing body fat takes a lot of time. And and honestly, if someone is desiring to do that, that's an overtime type of thing. And that's consistency with also just, you know, self-care. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like if your body wants to lose body fat, it will. But it's a symptom of of something else. It's a symptom of a different change in your in the right. way in which you're orchestrating, you know, things. Um Right. So anyway, it's it's this the the whole tracking thing. It's like, my gosh, there's well, it's something that you isn't the I mean, point. At the end of the it's day, yeah. not the point of it. And at the end of the day, people are just trying to grab onto something and yes. try to make themselves feel better and not deal with their actual problems. Yes. Stop tracking. Like you don't. There's just no be need. A, eat like a three year old. Be a three year old. Right. Eat when you're hungry. Stop when you're full. <sighs> Enjoy things while also getting your food groups. Right. I know people bitch about me saying that, 
because ah, you just don't understand. No, I do understand. No, because... and I know it's a battle. I've been there. I get right. it. Right. But like at the end of the day, you have to let it go. Close mm-hmm. your eyes, jump in the pool. Yeah. So you gain five pounds. What does that mean? What does that mean? And who are you upsetting? Right. 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 And why would that be upsetting to whom it upsets? Right. Start asking those questions because you should be able to be the human you are by eating the food yes. that makes you a uh, physiologically healthful individual and also enjoyable mind, mm-hmm. body and soul kind of a thing. Right. Stop tracking. It doesn't it makes people crazy. Yep. Crazier. Yep. It absolutely does. And I think that this person may have been, may did it as like an experiment, Mm -hmm. but it's still the whole point of like the whole, it was set with it then. Well, the whole thing was, is like a setup. It's kind of like, Mm -hmm. again, you can't expect this. You can't expect something that just can't happen. Right. I don't know. You know, it's just whatever. So it's just, Okay. So anyway, there's that. All right. Well, that's number one. Okay. So the other thing, yeah. And the and I, I think a lot of, you know, a lot of people can find themselves in these situations. And, um, you know, I was uh, talking to a client recently. Uh, they were kind of explaining their experience that they had. And again, they weren't fully aware of it until it happened, of course, but it was, um, you know, going to the grocery store too hungry, basically. Oh, sure. We, and, we've all been there, right? Yeah. Let's admit, I mean, we've right. all been there. Right. Um, you know, to be a routine, though. No, and this individual kind of knows, um, you know, their their triggers and that type of thing, and so you know, it turned into something she just didn't want want to happen, and so I I think, you know, the piece that I that I like to to throw out there right away, anyway, is you know, a why were you too hungry? You know, and I, I really mm-hmm. want people to understand that, you know, I know when I'm working with someone, the whole point is it, this isn't, you know, whatever it is that I, that I'm even working on with anybody, it's never about being too hungry. It's nourishing yourself when it's time to eat. And then when you get hungry again, it's nourishing yourself mm-hmm. again, but it's not right. pushing the hunger away. Right. You know, and saying, and I'm only a little hungry, so well, I'll wait. Well, ah, well, now I'm a little more, uh, but I'm not hungry enough. Enough. Right. Or it's, um, you know, sometimes, again, people kind of lose like track of where they are in space and time. And all of a sudden, like, say this individual, they found themselves in the in the car going to the grocery store because they had to pick up something. And then they realized they hadn't eaten since a particular time. Mm-hmm. And then they realized how dang hungry they were, right? right. So it's that kind of a thing too. But, um, you know, it's important that we're checking in with ourselves. Do we have what we need, you know? Mm-hmm. Or what do we need? Or I know that going to the grocery store is a trigger for me. How about if we pause for a second and just be like, you know, am I okay? Do I need something really quick before I go do this errand? You know what I'm saying? But right, right. It's it's still all about, you know, self-care because the the big question that I that I always have is, you know, why are you too hungry? You know? Well, and then yeah, it's right. obvious. And, and then there's this part of me too where I, I feel like it turns into this self sabotage thing sometime too in these mind games where sometimes I think people know they're going to the grocery store, they know what's there that they really want, but they're acting like they don't. Mm-hmm. And they want to be too hungry because right. it justifies getting the thing getting that the they things. really want. Right. And so that's the other thing too. It's like, can we just stop playing games with ourselves and just be honest right. about what it is that we want and have that also be okay? Well, and be okay. Like I want the brownies or whatever it is. Yeah. Then that's fine. No one, right. if you feel like people are judging you, then make new friends, Yeah, get I, a new I, husband or wife, get right. new kids, whatever yeah. it might be. I, it's, it's, you know, so so there's that piece too. And um, so I'm just kind of bringing that up as well, where again, it's still a matter of just taking care of yourself. It's okay to actually eat a meal because you're actually hungry. And then on top of it, go to the grocery store 
and get the brownies because you know you want those. Like yeah. both of those scenarios are okay. And I, well, and I think I mean ultimately you you talk about self care in such a, a a positive way or such a so you're so nice about it. But really at the end of the day, it's people hating themselves and not willing to you know allow themselves to take a 15, 30 minute break. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, totally. To eat. Well, right. It's, it's, it's that whole self-worth thing, right? Right. Something else is more important than myself, than my own needs. Right. Um, Or even other people. I have to get the grocery shopping done now because then I have to pick up da 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 And that might be true. Sure. But again, when, when we say have a box of granola bars in the car, Mm -hmm. sit down for 10 minutes and eat a sandwich. Oh, I know. Is that really going to put a dent in your grocery store trip? Yeah. 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 Mm. And that again, that's the whole point so right so it's it's we have to start liking ourselves or all of this stuff tracking weight grocery hunger all of these things these are all these things weld together but until we start liking ourselves for who we are it's just not going to change no and all of these types of things then just become ammo correct towards more self-disappointment Right. And a lot of money being spent where it should. Oh, be gosh. Spent. I know. I know. If people put all of the money they spent towards diet culture in a piggy bank, they'd yeah. be able to travel the world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. And and maybe you're a couple <laughs> pounds heavier. Mm-hmm. But I well, also want to say, too, about this, this hunger stuff. I don't know about you, and I assume with you as well, but when you're working with clients and the way that I usually coach them with this kind of, you never want to be in this place of severe hunger. Of no, course. ever. Never. But also it's in letting people know, like when you toy with your body that way, yes. super hungry, and then you're going to eat and it's usually more. Right. Okay. We we have this way extreme up and down thing going on. And it, it I mean, people can say like, oh, it happens to me once in a while. That's okay. But it happens to people all the time, sometimes on a daily basis, um, or even let's just say weekly. This is when you start to toy around with diabetes. This is when mm-hmm. you start to toy around with weight change. This mm-hmm. is this is what happens is you physiologically, again, we come back to that, are going to start having problems. Um, and, and unfortunately, the solution, quote unquote, that people have is I'll go on a diet and then I'll fuck with my metabolism and right. my pancreas even more. Absolutely. And that is the thing. The erratic hunger, these extremes cause more damage than just having the damn brownie when you want the damn brownie. Exactly. I mean, exactly. we're we're supposed to take care of ourselves just like we would take care of our children. We're not going to be like, oh, that's all right. They can go 10 hours without <laughs> yeah. eating. Maybe, I mean, maybe we're you don't want to say that. that. <laughs> the, I mean, way, we're... the way we work with, with kids who whose parents don't let them eat or <laughs> who restrict for them of sake. brownies. <laughs> maybe, uh. maybe you don't want that. <laughs> Oh, that's not the place I'm at right now. Though. Well, no, no, it's, it's totally true. It's totally true. Uh, and then just something else too that I wanted to say kind of goes along with this whole self-awareness thing or like, again, taking care of like when you're hungry is, is, you know, the client who finds themselves repetitively doing the behavior they're trying to get away from. Yeah. A, there comes a point where you can't just shame and punish yourself because you're doing a behavior you're trying to get away from. Correct. The whole thing is that you've got to acknowledge the behavior and then with curiosity, ask yourself the why. Why is this here? How is this serving me? I'm in this space again. Sure. Can Can you give an example? Um, you know, like somebody who is, um, say trying not to eat at night. Okay. And they find themselves eating at night. Well, yeah. I mean, think about like when you tell a little kid, don't come in here. Totally. Don't come in here. What do they do? They come Come in in there. Uh, Yeah, absolutely. So, but, but it's, it's the same thing of just like recognizing, okay, like, why is this here again? A, am I actually really hungry? Did I, how did I eat? Right. Is this habitual? Right. Or is this, is this just habitual? And even if it is right. What is it that we receive from it? You know, is it this comfort? Is it the sensory shift? You know, what is that piece for you? Does it help you fall asleep? Is it like a bedtime 
you know, what are these things? And sometimes in recognizing what those things are, we realize, oh, it's not really the food that it is that I want. It's actually something else, but I was using the food to get it, right? Right. Or sometimes it's, um, I just feel better if I do this. Well, or then it, can we stop fighting it and just do just that do then? Right. Stop it. No, like it. we have to work with ourselves, <clears throat> really. It's, 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 <sighs> you know, in the end is what I'm trying to say. Because the thing is, is that the the more you suppress something that you actually really need on some level, the, the more you're just going to try and manipulate and mess something else up around the way to, to, to right. get it and hurting yourself anyway, you know, I right. don't know. It's no, just totally get it. all of this stuff. Well, and at the end of the day, there there's a subgroup of people who want to just continue to self-sabotage. There's a subgroup yeah. of people who will never like themselves. Yeah. And there's a subgroup of people who will continue to deliver, uh, you know, inaccurate information, no matter what the cost is for it. Yeah. And when we talk about behavior and we talk about food, uh, body behaviors, uh, like your example, like eating at night, but we talk about food behaviors at the end of the day. In order to change behavior, we have to do, you know, opposite action. We have to do some cog- cognitive changes. We have right. to, behavior doesn't just, okay, I'm going to stop doing this today. It's not a switch. You don't it's just not a switch. flip it off because there's, you would have done that. Yeah. Yeah. There's stuff we have to do. And, and I think the unfortunate part is so many people think if I use X diet and all of their products and trackers and all of the things, or if I see... Joe Blow, dietitian, or whomever, and I do what it or they say, I'll see change. Oh, so right. if I, you know what I mean? And it's like, no, that still doesn't create change. Just because right. Nicole tells you, hey, at night, let's do this. And then in the morning, do this. Just because you start doing that and you do it for a handful of days doesn't mean you've changed anything. It Mm -hmm. takes a long time to change behavior and it takes Mm -hmm. a lot of work and not just doing it once a day. Right. Right. It takes a lot physically and mentally to make change and to do behavioral modification. Right. And, and with that being said then too, it's just, I just, I'm wanting to remind people to be gentle with themselves. Yeah. And I can already hear people saying, well, that's how I got here in the first place. It's like, <laughs> no, actually you didn't. If right. you were gentle with yourself and you really worked and honored what it is that you really needed, you may not really be in this place, you know, yeah, right. whatever that really means. But, um, you know, the thing is, is when we are trying to, to, to make change, it is very difficult and it does require some compassion. And like I said, you know, curiosity around it versus this hardcore slap on the hand stuff, shame, like, no, right. Those things do not lead to change and it leads to rebellion in another area of your life or somewhere else. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy of, see, I can't do it. Right. Well, I don't know. Do you really want to do it to begin with? Because you actually may not. And you're getting you're getting pressure from the outside world to make change. Right. It's it's okay. okay You don't have to. There's nothing you need to do. You know, so I say all that stuff because it's important that, you know, I just I want people to honor themselves and not not berate themselves. And, you know, uh, anyway, no, I I totally get it. Mm-hmm. So it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. Yeah. Yeah, most <sighs> definitely. Was that your last scenario? You know, there was another one in there, but no, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Come on. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I no, feel but it's like... true. It's 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 exhausting on some level to have to talk all it, the time and, and even the last scenario is still all about self-care versus checking off boxes or being directed by the culture around you mm-hmm. um you know essentially and um you know that's just ultimately what what it kind of comes down to so yeah. no i get it I yeah get it. so hopefully we, we, there's some takeaways in this one i hope so too i hope so too i think it's good to talk about the scenarios that you know um, yeah, they're real. People life. find themselves in because it's it's really true, and it's just sort of a matter of, you know, can we start looking at things in a non-judgmental way and just be open-minded to 
why is this here? This is right. here for me for some reason, you know, um, and explore that a little bit more. So totally. All right. I feel it. Take care, Bye, everybody. Everyone. Have questions you want to hear discussed on the show? Find us on Facebook or visit betweentwopastries.com and drop us a line. Want to support the show? Find us on Patreon for exclusive content. If you love the show, find us on iTunes or your favorite podcast platform. Hit the subscribe button and leave us a review.